My coverage of Computex 2023 is brought to you by Thermaltake, Cooler Master, Gigabyte, and G-Skill. I'm at Lee and Lee now, and I'm joined by Pedro. If you guys don't know, Pedro is basically in charge of Reddit. He runs the entire website. No, he runs like the best part of Reddit, which is the PC Master Race subreddit, which I enjoy and hope you guys enjoy too. Pedro wanted to make sure that I came over here to Lee and Lee because they have a PC Master Race edition, and it's called O11 Vision because there's more glass so you can see more stuff inside. So because I've been talking a lot today and Pedro's right here, I'm gonna let Pedro give us a quick little highlight feature of the features of the new O11 Vision PC Master Race Edition. Okay, thank you, Paul. I mean, D011, we know D011 is probably one of the most influential cases of the last four or five years, but I think it could be even more special. I mean, the community is very diverse and everyone has their own way of doing things, but I think that PC is about freedom. And freedom means you can create something in your image. In this case, it's all glass. So you have glass on the front, glass on top, glass on the side. The top glass is actually slightly, slightly reflective, looking from inside. So in lower light conditions, if you're just looking at it, you'll see like a PC inception, a PC inception. So you see your PC and more PC. So it's beautiful if you want to do some RGB builds, and of course, most of the PCMR loves RGB. It's almost like you get a free PC. It's with almost the like that, exactly. Well, practically. And the thing is, even though we don't do, of course, obviously top exhaust anymore, we can do back, and we can do 240 millimeter back. So that leaves room for a lot of airflow. Of course, this isn't a pure a performance case. It's a more aesthetical uh, uh, oriented case. But there's a lot of cool stuff as well. So we have a removable motherboard tray, adjustable motherboard tray. If it's EATX, Ooh. I mean, it it will fit pretty much everything you throw at it, and it's just so beautiful. How is it? How is the glass like held together up here? Like on the it's magic, magic. It's just, magic. Okay. There's no columns, no pillars. It's so clean. There's magnetic here. Now that's the objective. Like if you want to do it, you want to do it right. So that's what vision means. Like you can see it from every angle. And I really like the color scheme they've gone with here. There is a PCMR uh, plate on the back side with the Lee and Lee logo, just so you make sure you know you got the right one. Any other like like cool things about it that you, we should know? I mean, I think it's all about that expression that I told you, like PCMR is about freedom, and this is like a blank canvas where you can just create a PC that you love. Excellent. Well, Pedro, thank you very much for talking to me today. No, thank you. Thank you, Paul, for talking to me. And I'm me. sorry I didn't make You're the, the party. You're the legend, man. You're the legend. I'm sorry I didn't make the party last night. No, it's OK. It's OK. I heard the cops showed up. They yeah. did. They did. It was even funner because they did. They yeah. raided us. They were like, your case is so beautiful. You're having so much fun. They have to raid you. All right, well, thanks. And we'll uh, move on to the next thing. The first thing Lian Lee actually showed me today was this desk, which is a sit-stand desk. And Lian Lee has done quite a few different variations of desks that have cases integrated, sit-stand desks. This one is called the DK07. Currently still in development. They're planning on launching it later this year. We don't have a price yet. But some cool things that they've done with it is they've made it so it can be disassembled and flat packed, which is a much better way to ship something like a desk. Other ones they've had to ship on pallets, which are very expensive to ship and also a little tough to get through your front door sometimes. Some cool integrated features are a little can chiller right there. You've got some Coke in there. It tells you what temperature it's at. A little pop-up USB hub right there. There is more connectivity on the front of the desk. It's also where you have access to like this button that turns the entire glass opaque is just fun to turn on and off. I guess if you have some friends visiting and you don't want them to know how cool your computer is, you can flip that off or maybe good for like if you're doing a, a movie or something on the monitor up above so you don't have your RGB lighting bleeding in. It is of course a sit stand, so full functionality to raise it up, drop it down, lots of IO there on the front. And they've even tucked away, well, a drawer right there so you can have a little bit of storage. And there are some hot swap drive bays down there around the right side as well. So again, we don't have a specific launch date, but they're planning on coming out with this later this year. Don't have a price yet either. It's probably going to be a little bit more on the expensive side, but a pretty cool sit stand, the DK07. Let's talk about AIOs. Lee Lee has a trio of them, and a couple of them are called Trinity. The Galahad 2 Trinity RGB and the Galahad 2 Trinity Performance. The performance over there does not have RGB, but that's okay. Even though RGB can, of course, improve performance in your system. Red is faster, blue is cooler. A very clean white finish for these, and it comes with a trio of caps that you can put on top. This one lets the RGB shine through all around, through the top as well. You'll also have an infinity mirror cap that you can put on there if you like the infinity mirror look, 
or you can completely swap it out with this one that has the Lian Lee, Lian Lee logo and a little bit more of a metal finish with a beveled edge that looks pretty clean. That one's only going to be available in 360 millimeter size because it's performance and they assume if you want performance you want the most cooling you can get so that's why it's the largest size. The Galhead 2 Trinity RGB is right over here. Note that both of these AIOs are going to come with the fans pre-mounted and pre-installed which is convenient for installation, also for shipping. They're also using daisy chainable fans which means that you only have one set of cables coming out the end over here as well as a single set of cables that's going to come out of the pump block unit. The third item in our trio of AIOs is coming out a little bit later because they're working with ASTEC on this one. Basically the same as a Galahad 2 Trinity RGB, but this time it's got an LCD on there. They're working with ASTEC for this one so you can watch soccer. Watch soccer on your AIOs LCD screen. Very practical. At least they're showing CPU load there as well. Let's talk about fans. Lian Lee has been doing a very good job with the uh, whole trend of making fans that are daisy chainable that you can connect together. The new line of Uni Infinity fans is going to include, of course, the uh, Infinity mirror along the edge, but they've also extended the RGB out across the uh, side of the fan as well. It's going to come in a couple of different flavors, and one of the flavors is going to have LCDs. You know, people are putting LCDs all in different places in computers, and why not put them on fans as well? Is that practical? Is that cool? Is that desirable? I, I don't know. I've been sort of complaining about less practical PC hardware on this uh, particular show, so let me know if you would be actually interested in having LCDs on your fans. You can have LCDs pretty much everywhere else on your computer these days. The three pack of these I'm told is gonna to cost about 110 US dollars. The version with the LCD is gonna be about 140 US dollars. So it's only about a $10 markup per fan to include that LCD, which I guess isn't too bad. These will also be available in reverse mode. So you can get ones that uh, have your traditional airflow. You can get ones that have the flipped fan for reverse airflow. You do need to choose that when you buy them, but that's the better way to go because optimization is a thing. And having a hybrid fan can sometimes lead to reduced performance. So if you like RGB LED in your fans, if you like fans that you can connect together to a little bit e more easily connect up the fans to the RGB LED, and I guess if you want a fan with an LCD screen on it, then uh, check out the Lian Lee Next Generation Uni fans, Uni Infinity fans, which are coming in uh, about September or October. And here's the Lian Lee SUP 01, SUP 01. This is a unique case, probably the most interesting case in terms of design that I've seen at the show so far because they've taken the graphics card and they put it in the front, All right? That's a GPU right there. Uh, it, it apparently, it will take a 540 millimeter PCIe extension cable to get the GPU over to there, but that is included with the case. Since this is a sort of tall and skinny case design, there is not a ton of clearance for air coolers. So don't plan to use an air cooler with this case unless you're gonna use a really low profile one. It's better suited for AIOs and it does have six spots for fans on the rear side. So you can see a few of them right there, and that is where your radiator would be set up. They have, of course, installed a really nice looking system in here with an MSI RTX 4080 Supreme X, Asus RGX 670E Hero motherboard, and a full kit of G-Skill memory. Uh, the SUP01 is expected to launch at the end of the year, and it's gonna be $150, $150 US, and that includes that riser cable. But guys, that is all the time I have here at the Lee and Lee booth. Let me know what you think of the products that they're coming out with. They had a couple other cases that I didn't have time to pass by, but I'll post links to as much informational stuff as I can down in the video's description. I want to say a big thank you to my sponsors for Computex 2023, Gigabyte, G-Skill, Cooler Master, and Thermal Take. If you guys haven't already, check out my playlist. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this one. We'll see you all in the next video.